कोलेस्ट्रॉल इज बेसिकली अ वैक्सी सब्सटेंस व्हिच इज मेनली प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द बॉडी इटसेल्फ इट इज मेनली प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द लिवर एंड द द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मिथ दैट वी हैव फॉर कोलेस्ट्रॉल इज दैट इट इज अ बैड थिंग टू हैव अ कोलेस्ट्रॉल व्हेन द लेवल्स ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रॉल are up to a certain level are high then it is considered to be bad but then cholesterol itself is very important for proper functioning and for proper maintenance of the cells in the body there are two types of cholesterol as you said good and the bad the good cholesterol is basically means it is known as high density high density lipoprotein and the good cholesterol when levels of good cholesterols are high in the body then the patient is basically or the person who has good cholesterol they they don't have any risk factors for any heart disease or any other stroke heart disease or stroke whereas bad cholesterol is known as ldl it is like high levels of ldl are considered to be bad in the body as it can cause my as it can cause heart attack it can cause stroke it can cause other various complications basically high level of cholesterol is basically an accidental discovery it it is mainly detected on a routine blood test or a routine investigations happening on regular opd grounds as such there are no signs and symptoms of very high cholesterol they are usually accidental discoveries during a routine checkup phase high level of cholesterol are only seen in young adults who have a sedentary lifestyle for example who are only eating or who are, who are dependent on junk food or who are active smokers or you have who or who are having binge drinking and secondly the, in younger population the high level of cholesterol are mainly seen in people who have got herid who have got hereditary disorders associated with high cholesterol for example it is passing on from families to families so those patients are at a risk of having early high cholesterol in the younger population stress factor basically does plays a very important role in high cholesterol levels as well as in in you know in in association with heart disease and in association with diabetes as well because what happens is whenever you have got stress levels there are stress hormones are released in the body so these stress hormones basically lead to increased accumulation of you know various lipids in the body which causes high cholesterol level firstly secondly if suppose you are a diabetic so diabetes itself is a is a process or it's a itself is a it's a disease which escalates the process of having high cholesterols then you know all are interrelated for example like smoking you are stressed so person goes for a smoke if person is stressed out there is binge eating there is you know junk food eating there is dirty eating so that all leads to basically high cholesterol levels first i will start with lifestyle changes so in lifestyle changes that a person has to a patient has to basically opt to uh, opt for you know low low fat diet or low oily diet firstly secondly brisk walk for approximately like 30 35 minutes or a daily activity or a physical activity needs to be incorporated in the entire routine or in the entire 24 hours and there are apart from this apart from this there are medicines which are reduced which are used to control high levels of cholesterol which basically re- reduces the risk of any heart disease or any risk factors associated with it the various complications associated with that it can cause it can cause a heart attack it can cause a stroke and various other disorders like peripheral arterial disease or it can cause any blockage in the heart it can cause blockage in the kidney it can cause any blockage in the small arteries of the of uh, small arteries of the body so these are the various complications which are associated with high cholesterol levels usually the recommended time frame for having uh, for getting tested for high cholesterol is usually 4 to 6 months le if your levels are normal in 6 months then you don't have to repeat it after repeat it every 4 months le it is approximately recommended at least twice or thrice in a year you should get your cholesterol levels checked uh, during the during the entire year the first and foremost that you need to opt for a very healthy lifestyle the healthy lifestyle doesn't mean that you start eating things or you start forgetting eating things which are not required to maintain a balance in the body healthy lifestyle means that you need to opt for a balanced diet you need to take balanced diet firstly secondly you need to incorporate physical activities thirdly there are various other ways 
stress relaxation, decreased stress relaxation. And like these days, there are a lot of stress in the families, in the, in during the, the work stress is there, the family stress is there. That needs to be addressed. But the foremost, the, the thumb rule for controlling and for prevention for, for color, high cholesterol level is quit smoking, take a healthy and a balanced diet, incorporate physical activity at least some hours in your entire day and stress relaxation and, uh, and uh, you know, stress and anxiety relaxation is more importantly, is more important preventive measures. 